we're here in Austin doing the number one thing to do in the summer. Well, we're seeing the bats of South Congress Bridge. So it's 7.30, we just parked the car at the, the lot just underneath South Congress Bridge. Just scan the QR code, super simple process. 12 bucks for two hours. It's so fun walking along the bridge here because you can hear the bats, the little squeak. So we booked with Capital Cruises. You just walk under the bridge, follow this little trail here. It's like a three minute walk. So we bought our tickets ahead of time, but you still gotta stand in this little line. The purple tent here is Capital Cruises, right between First Avenue Bridge and South Congress Bridge over there. So we got to pick our boat, and we chose the big boat. Man, the air conditioning in here is wonderful, though. <laughs> so if you ever need to pull off, oh, yeah. come down here for a second. Oh, toilets! That was unexpected. Oh, yeah. That's good to know. They don't have those on the small boat. You can take this little swan paddle boat out. You can rent a kayak. It's 8 o'clock. The other little boat's starting to go. What a wonderful lake that we have today. And another thing that she did, she actually banned all gas powered Hi, welcome to the South First Street Bridge. It's definitely the most boring bridge you have on the waterfront. I've tried for a long time to try to find something interesting to say about it, uh, but there's nothing interesting about this bridge. Uh, <laughs> one of the fastest growing cities in the country, with over 100 people moving in every single day. downstairs. So all the, the Lone Star boats, Southern Star, Little Star over here, they're stopping here. They didn't even get past the train bridge. So if you do want to see all the graffiti on the train bridge, that view looking back at Austin, uh, Capital Cruises is the only one that I saw that went back that far. That's supposed to be an owl. A little bit strange, but uh -huh. as you can see, I think now these little slots at the very, very bottom of it only goes about a foot and a half in. Uh, but at the time, they didn't realize this, but they built the perfect home for bats. Uh, so the bats move them because they, you know, it offers them a lot of protection from predators. Now they always head east. You know, they don't like the, the sunset. So they always head away from the sun east out into the night across the farmland. These mammals, they're actually the fastest mammals. These bats have been tracked going just under 100 miles an hour. In fact, uh, some of these bats have been tracked to go all the way to the Gulf of Mexico and back in just one night. It's pretty incredible. The bats in question, they're not very big. Their body size, uh, not too much bigger than a half dollar. Their wingspan, about four to six inches. These bats, they're pretty incredible. They're the reason I don't have to bring bug spray to work every day. That's very, very nice. And they do eat a lot of mosquitoes around here. But the main thing that they eat is actually the corn moth. They eat a lot of moths, that's for sure. They use the red light because they're sensitive to other types of lights, but this helps us to see them. Yes. There's actually a bunch of ways that you can see the bats. You can hang out on the side, which kind of gets a little crowded, as you can see. You can be on the bridge, which is cool, you're up close to them, but I've heard it's a little bit more difficult to see the bats because they're not silhouetted against the sky because you're kind of looking down on them. Or you can take a cruise. We took Capital Cruises, wasn't sponsored or anything, we saw on a blog post that this was the number one cruise for it, and it was great. We went out the farthest and the tour was really interesting, told us all about the buildings, the skyline, history of Austin here, and all about the bats and different sea life and things in the in Lady Bird Lake. So, highly recommend it. And they gave Kai a sticker. Bumblebee bat. <laughs> There's a bumblebee bat? Yeah. Kai's it's learning. Small, isn't it? <laughs> Kai's learning more about bats. <laughs> bats are yep. They're bat facts? Yep. So they gave that to you too? No, I just gave it to myself. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Ooh, this is so pretty. Right? 
Yeah. Yeah, the Austin skyline, at least the north side of Lady Bird Lake, is so, so pretty. Very pretty. So that was really nice to come at sunset and see the building start to light up and just... Well, and dusk is like my favorite time. And you know, like that's when you're going up a tower, like that's when you want, right? Because you get a little bit of daytime and you get a little bit of nighttime yeah. and you get the beautiful time in between. Yeah. So this was exactly that. So pretty. And like they have it down to a T on when you need to be there for that time. So the best time to come when you want to see like the whoosh of bats uh, is late July to mid August. This is peak season right now. It all happens in like 10 to 15 minutes. So that whole tour, it left at eight. We got back just after nine, but talking to the captain, he was saying that the past couple nights, the bats have been coming out later. And so they were staying out a little bit later in order to catch that. Uh, we're walking under the bridge now. You can still see some under here. Kai, was the boat worth it? Did you like going on the boat to see the bats? Yeah. How about you, Ace? Did you like the boat? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still watching watching the bats. It's interesting because you see like these little lights, but it's like, I don't know if it's a reflection, but they're the bats. Oh, yeah. I don't know what is going on. Yeah, it's cool. Like, is that them? I don't think that's them. Yeah, that's them. That's them? Yeah. Oh, mine. This is like... What is happening? Yeah, it's because um, they're coming out and then you can see the reflection off the street light. What's that? Yeah, that's all of them. I don't know. Do I like all nice and sweaty? I very sweaty, yeah. Very it's, sweaty. it's hot out there. Um, <laughs> okay, yeah, and so I think it was later in July I can't see anything. August. Yeah. <laughs>